Well, hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for September 6th through 12th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Just a reminder, this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate. Take what does, leave the rest behind. If you enjoy the readings I post, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. So we have an exciting week this week. We start off with a very lucky new moon in Virgo. And this is on Monday, September 6th, maybe the 7th, depending on where you are in the world. And uh, this is, for one, the Virgo energy keeps you a little bit grounded, but... We have a lot of really interesting planetary uh, trines going on. We've got um, Uranus, we've got Mercury, Saturn, Venus, Mars, and Pluto. So this is all, uh, you know, all these planetary link-ups, so to speak. This brings optimism. It brings the ability to analyze your situation, transform, um, make uh, some self-improvement changes per se. All right. And also brings in some lucky energy. So who doesn't like that? All right. So your first card out, we have darkness. And I'm just going to pull your second one here. And the darkness one, that one in this particular deck is the long night moon. So that's right before the void. So the couple of days leading up to the full moon, or sorry, excuse me, to the new moon, are, are going to be very, very important for you, especially for clearing things out and setting your intentions. And we've got compass coming out there as well. So talk about getting your bearings. So and I actually need to correct myself because the long dark moon is actually a full moon, not a not a uh, void moon. Anyway, long dark moon, this usually occurs in December and this is a period where you may start to feel a little bit introverted. Um, the full moons and the new moons, they're both a time to set intentions. They're both a time to clear things out, especially with a full moon energy. So between now and probably the end of December is going to be a very, very important time for you to really think about, make long-term plans, long-term goals, maybe even long-term changes of self-improvement, right? Like a whole brand new version of Gemini. And this can be in your career path. It can be a, your belief systems. It can be your relationships. All right. Any of those things are really important to you. So this new moon is really going to highlight for you um, setting those intentions, figuring out what is important to you, where you want to go. Compass has you bringing you back to center a little bit. Some of you may have felt a little bit like a uh, um, a feather blowing on the breeze. And it's not normally quite like you, Gemini, but this is a time to get your bearings. So if you have been feeling a little bit um, a little bit out of sorts lately, a little bit um, directionless. The compass energy comes back in, comes in here to give you a little bit of sense of direction, help you find your way, if you will. So some of you might be have been working on some big projects right now, and maybe you're a little bit lost. Maybe you're you're just feeling a little bit. Um, uh, we'll use the word scatterbrained for any uh, lack of other word. All right. And you just might be like, I just don't know where to go spinning your wheels, so to speak. So what the dark moon actually does is it helps bring you back to center and helps you work through issues in a different way. Go within rather than external. And then the compass energy helps you get back on track with whatever it is that you are working on. So uh, whether that is something short term or whether that is something long term. All right. So let's pull your and it's interesting that the long dark moon is number 40 and the compass is number 50. So fours are about foundations. Fives are about obstacles, but also about change. So So we've got here, we have the Nine of Cups coming there for you. We have the Three of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. Holy moly. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. Advice from Spirit. Eight of Swords. And blessings headed your way. We have the Emperor. Wow. So there's that foundational energy. 
okay the fours okay so number 44 they're coming out for you but wow this is incredible energy okay this is going to be a fantastic week for you guys to uh, set your intentions to get things done to overcome your obstacles and challenges um, if you've been looking for a job with the knight of pentacles there may be an offer headed your way possibly something that you have been really hoping for for some time the knight of pentacles can also be you taking action and putting yourself out there to follow your career or your financial goals maybe even something involving your home. The pentacles really are an earthy energy, but it does um, it does uh, really incorporate your material world, your home, your money, your, fi uh, your finances in general, uh, your career, but also your values, right? What you hold dear. So some of you might be reassessing that as well. So the nine of the nine of cups, right? To start out your week, this is wish fulfillment energy. This is uh, feeling good about yourself, achieving your goals, um, getting whatever it is that you had been looking for. Now, for some of you that you could have just had a really fantastic weekend and it's spilling over into the beginning of your week. For some of you, you've got a really good sense of self, and if you are doing any kind of intention setting or any manifestation work with the new moon at the beginning of the week, okay, you are attaching really positive vibes to it, okay, and you're just trusting that whatever it is that you are setting your intentions to attract in your life, you're trusting and you're sitting in the energy that you have already received it, which is incredibly important if you are doing manifestation of any kind. So really, really, really positive energy at the beginning of the week, right? You could even be um, you could even be really uh, positive in your thinking and knowing, having a deep sense of inner knowing, a good sense of, um, how should we say, uh, emotional fulfillment in trusting yourself that you can wrap things up, you can get started, you can accomplish whatever it is that you set your heart out to accomplish in the week ahead. The Three of Wands, okay, the Three of Wands is about having a plan, all right, but it's also being at the ready to take action on the next opportunity that heads your way once you figure it out once you figure out what you what you are hoping to achieve what you want to achieve the wish fulfillment card with the 9 of cups once you know what you completely desire and this makes you feel whole it's like sometimes when you sit in the energy you know if you're looking for a new job let's say and let's say you've been looking through the want ads or however you do your job search these days and you come across a job and it speaks to you and all the boxes are checked and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, that's mine. That's mine. That's meant for me. And maybe it's something that you accidentally saw. Here you are in the three of wands going, yep, I'm planting my seeds of intention. This is what I want. I've got a little plan in place, right? Maybe you're going to do something a little bit different to get noticed. Maybe, you know, instead of just sending a resume out or something just like regular, you know, regular folk, maybe you get in the car, maybe you drive down there with a professional portfolio or something like that, right? Maybe you do something else that stands, that helps you stand out from a crowd, but you've got a plan in place. You know what you want. And the three of wands has you taking action getting ready for that right opportunity. So if you have the right opportunity in front of you, you're raring to go. If you are, you know, if you have sent those daggers out into the universe, so to speak, okay, you know what you want and you know what you want to do, then you are ready to take action and move forward. All right, you're tapping into that fiery energy. The three of wands is a very expansive energy. And it's really one of kind of waiting for your ships to come in, right? Your future is open and the path has been cleared of obstacles. So if you have been stuck in a rut on something there, all right, this is where your obstacles are cleared and you're like, yep, now I know. Now I know what I need to do, right? It's like, you know, it's like having a big boulder in your path and then having it all of a sudden removed. So you're ready to run forth and you're ready to get things done. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So this brings you uh, brings you a lot of that new moon luck, that planetary luck, so to speak. The Wheel of Fortune is 
a cycle card, right? So you are about to enter a brand new cycle, a very fortunate period uh, that lies ahead for you. This gives you the ability to accomplish whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish. Whatever intentions that you set now, you've got luck on your side. The Wheel of Fortune opens up opportunities, opens up doors for you. Think of the Wheel of Fortune like um, if you commute to work, right, you're sitting in your car and you know some days you hit like every single red light along the way and you're like, oh my goodness, and a 15 minute commute turns into like a 40 minute commute. Think of the Wheel of Fortune as headed down a big long stretch of road and every single light turning green, 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 green. So the path opens up for you. Things just start to fall into place for you. You may, fall, you may find a series of lucky breaks. You might find that things just go really easily for you. Okay, if you're setting your intentions, this will fulfill, wish fulfillment card with the Wheel of Fortune shows that this is a very prosperous time for you to achieve your wishes and your dreams. So whatever it is that you take action on right now, you're bookended here with your Nine of Cups and your Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Pentacles shows a possible offer that uh, is coming your way. This could be a job offer. It could be even possibly a romantic offer, all right, but something coming in here, some really good news that affects your, uh, your physical world. The Knight of Pentacles is an energy of long-term commitment, long-term investment. You may have an investment opportunity that comes in here for you. Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Pentacles, who very prosperous. Okay, so um, not to mention this is maybe something that you've been hoping for and dreaming about for quite some time. You could be making a big purchase. Maybe you're buying your first, uh, your first home, a brand new home. Maybe you're buying a car. All right, you might just have an investment opportunity, okay? But again, a new job or even a new relationship that's coming in here, um, some sort of offer. It could also be an upgrade of some kind. But the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy, so you may have been waiting for this for a long time. This can also be you being very invested uh, in making your wishes and dreams come true in some way. Again, that three of wands, you've got a plan in place and you know what you want. And this is you taking action to get it because we can look at this night, this horse is actually facing this way, facing goals, dreams, um, wishes all head on, okay? Facing, uh, looking luck in the face, shall we say. All right, so whatever that happens to be for you, very positive. You may even, at some point, you may even go back and revisit something, okay, with that knight, uh, with that horse facing this direction. You might go back and vi revisit something um, to give something a second view, a second glance. Uh, there may be, be, have been something that you had been working on and dropped, and you're like, no, you know what, now is not the time. It could be a, uh, a job or some opportunity of some sort that maybe you didn't get the first time, but now you may have a second chance. Your advice from Spirit is the Eight of, uh, the eight of Swords. Free yourself from any worries, any doubts, any restrictions, and move forward. The three, it's landing right beneath the three of wands, which, an ex, which is an expansive energy. And your advice if from spirit, usually the eight of swords is one of self-imposed restriction, feeling as though you can't make any movement. It can sometimes have you trapped in fear a little bit, right? Or even, uh, even something of just not trusting yourself to do something. So Spirit says the path is clear now. Your obstacles have been removed. Your roadblocks have been removed. Those boulders in your path are crumbling away. And this is a wonderful new cycle for you coming in. So the only thing that may be holding you back is you. Blessings blessings coming your way this week. We have the Emperor coming in. This number one brings you a good solid foundation. Okay, and as the uh, the long night moon comes in, the full moon here, uh, we've got that number four, and then we also have a number four. So number 44 is highlighted for you guys, all right? And the emperor brings us stability, longevity, 
um, brings us bold, inspired confidence. All right. Aries energy comes in here. Okay. And this gives you that energy that you need. This gives you the belief that you can get things done. The emperor, all four Kings rolled into one, but the emperor has had their fair share of ups and downs and is here to show you the way. Okay. So you've got this great foundational energy that is coming in to um, help you keep both feet on the ground, so to speak, but also helps you um, put a plan together, put a plan in place, and then take action on it, right? We can make all the plans in the world, but if we're trapped in fear and if we don't trust ourselves to make that first step, then we never get forward, right? But that emperor doesn't take no for an answer. The emperor can also go back to the drawing board and understands that sometimes even the best laid plans need a little bit of revision every once in a while. Sometimes we need to go back to the drawing board, right? We need to know when to revise. We need to know when to charge forward. And that's what that emperor energy brings in. There may also be someone around you this week that can help you. The emperor is um, often an advice card. So there may be someone around you that you can go to, someone that you really trust. Uh, a mentor of sorts can sometimes be a father figure and someone that may actually have some advice maybe even financial advice with that uh, Knight of Pentacles and that Wheel of Fortune. Okay, maybe something uh, comes across your plate, some sort of opportunity, and you know you might it, you might not be necessarily the subject matter expert in it. So the emperor can be someone who comes in to uh, really help you out in that regard and make some really good decisions. So really, really positive energy coming in here for you guys this week. So new cycle about to start for you guys for sure. Um, lovely. So I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to close out your reading with a couple of angel number cards. And there is one flying out there already. How did that escape? Anyway, there is the one. And let's just get you a second one. Thank you very much. First one come flying out. Now have a look at that. That is card number 31 that reduces down into another four. All right. So really keep your feet on the ground. Okay. That, that, uh, uh, grounded earthy energy with those fours okay and trust that you've got a solid a jumping off point a solid foundation and that you can use that to build upon and to move forward so number 31 I am disciplined your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have organizational skills to manifest them into your life look at that the Knight of Pentacles, practical, organized, stable, committed, long-term. The Nine of Cups, creative energy. The Three, Threes are cre uh, creative energy also. So this is really highlighting that you can have a great jumping off point and that you can make things happen for yourself. We have number 25 out here as well. And this is I Am Intelligent. You have a great ability to take in and, and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into the variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. Yes, absolutely, Gemini, you are. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something in here that resonated with you in some way. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.